What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number priority and today we're going to do tuna survival stove. Very simple, all you need is a tuna can and a hole puncher. Let's check this out. So I got here empty tuna can and what I'm gonna do is right on the rim on it, just gonna punch a hole. Just like that. And I'm gonna keep going around it with a bunch of more holes. So we punch a hole all the way around. Now we're gonna punch some more holes, but a little bit lower, just like this, right under it. So this is what it's gonna look like all the way around. We're gonna use 91% alcohol as a fill. Okay, now we're gonna set it on fire. Now it's burning a little. I gotta turn off the light so we can see that it's actually burning. As you can see, it's burning pretty good. Now we're just gonna put water on top of it or whatever and boil something up. As you can see, it looks like a gas stove. Really awesome. What do you guys think? Please thumbs up this video. Today I'm gonna do, talk about free fire starter. So what I got here is dryer lint. You know when you go and clean your dryer, what you get is this lint. And most of you throw away. But what can we use it for? Actually it's really really flammable so we can use it for fire starter. So we're gonna put in a waterproof case a lot of it for the future reference. And let's try it out. and. Started with just a flint and you know flints are really really uh, hard to start a fire with but this lint makes it easier. Well, let's check this out. Oh yeah, by the way kids, do not try this at home because safety is number one priority. So I got here dry lint so I don't want to throw this away. All I need is a little amount of it just like that. And I got here flint, cheap flint, the cheapest one. All I'm gonna do is grab it like that and strike it one time. And look, and it's on fire. Just one spark and it sets on fire. And all you need is little pieces of wood and those little small pieces of wood like tender will get on fire really really easily and really fast. So if you're doomsday prepper and you, you save all the lint that's gonna last you a long time because all you need is just a little bit of that lint, just a little bit and it will start your fire. Also if you wanna go hiking with your friends and you wanna impress your friends, grab your dry lint and a flint and put it like that and strike one time or two times and boom, it's on. Really easy, you're not wasting your flint and easy to start the fire with that stuff and look how clean it burns and all you need is just a little bit of a tender like dry tender and you're gonna start the fire pretty easily. And today I'm gonna show you how to make survival stove can with the toilet paper and alcohol. Let's check this out. For this alcohol stove we're gonna need alcohol can, empty can like that and a toilet paper. I took the tube out so it doesn't have a tube and then I'm gonna put it inside of a can like that, just like that. Then I'm gonna grab alcohol and fill it up. So the toilet paper will soak in all this alcohol. Okay, that should be enough. Now we're gonna go outside and test it out. All right, looks like we got it on fire and so we're gonna set a couple bricks next to it so we can put a pan on top of it we got here a pan of water and let's set it right here and wait till it boils you see how toilet paper does not burn off just alcohol burning off so it's like becoming a little little cool wig and as you can see the water is pretty hot already pretty soon it's gonna get to the boil even better way to do it, use one of those paint buckets. Make sure you clean it off from paint and everything. You can just, after you're done, you can blow it off and put the cover up. So alcohol and the paper toilet don't get messed up. Or if you don't have anything else, you can use one of those cans, it's fine as well. How can we make a candle out of a tuna? Simple, all you have to do is make a hole, put cotton thread to it and light it up and it will burn for a long time. 
What kind of tuna cans do we need? You see, it's a tuna in oil. This kind of vegetable oil or olive oil will work. But if it's tuna in water, it's not going to work. We need a tuna in oil. So very important, where to look for tuna in oil? It should be saying here or on the side over here. But you see it says in water over here and oil over here. Easy to find. But this is very important because in water it will not work. So we're going to make a hole with a knife. Very simple. Put the thread through and push it through as much as you can. Once the oil come out of the can a little bit, kind of rub it in this thread inside in the oil. Then just cut the rest and it's ready to be lit. And we got a tuna oil candle. And it's actually cool because it's even a flex from here makes even more light. How does it work? Well, simply because of oil inside, it works like any kind of oil lantern or oil lamp. Simply because of the thread sucked in in oil and it burns slowly because oil burn out of the thread and the thread almost doesn't burn. Today I'm going to show you how to make body burners out of a tuna can. Let's check this out. What's up, Hugo? Uh, look at this puppy. Hugo just wanted to say hi. Look how big he is now. He's like 65 pounds already now. This is insane, isn't it? For this experiment, we're going to need aluminum can, wax or candle, knife or scissors, and piece of cardboard. We got here this tall of piece of cardboard. We're gonna roll it up, so I'm just gonna cut it right at the tip. Actually, I'm going to cut it about halfway. Then let's measure cardboard. Going to cut it about right here. That looks good. Then I'm just going to roll it up. Then I'm going to stick it into aluminum foil can, just like this. Boom. Next, we simply need to melt wax. You can do it with a candle like this. You see we're dripping wax into this can. But it takes a while. What I would do is melt wax in a stove and then pour it in. So let's do that instead. I got here portable stove and I'm go what I'm gonna do is just take some wax in there. As you can see that little piece over there is melting. It's pretty much done. Okay, I can just turn it off and move, move it to the side of the stove. And then what I'm gonna do is just pour all that hot wax into the skin really, really carefully. You probably wanna see what it looks like. You see how hot this wax is? Oh yeah. It's pulling off. Oh yeah, look at this. Probably need some more. Here you go. You see how it goes all the way to the top. We want to have as much wax as we can all the way to the top. You see it? This is what we want. Nice. You see, I even overfilled a little bit. As you can see, it's still really hot and it's so liquid inside of it. So we need to wait till it cools off. Okay, this body burners are ready to go. We're just gonna set it on fire. One and the tuna one. Two, just get that paper on fire. And it's going to burn for a long, long time because it's sucked in with wax. So it's a perfect candle and a stove. If you wanna cook something, all you have to do is just build something to where you can hang a pot over it or set up a pot over it. It will boil water no problem it will burn a while and when you're done cooking or you don't want the fire anymore all you have to do is just blow it and it will blow out easily easy if it burns for a long time it will be hot to the touch so if you like camping or you are doomsday prepper this is would be perfect for you to do on a weekends this is awesome. 
So you can make one of those, store it in your bag out bag or like camping bag. It will save you a lot of time on starting a fire or you can even cook with these things. Awesome. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Let me know in comments below what do you think and I'll see you next time.